You know, I've been to Taco Bell, and you know, when you're making tacos, it's a long process. Yeah. And if you're tired it's late at night, you may fall asleep. Only this guy wasn't sleeping because he was tired. You know, this is a tale as old as time. Yeah, you, uh, you get a little intoxicated, you go to the drive thru, you order a Crunchwrap Supreme, and that takes a while. It does. You get a Crunchwrap Supreme, you get a, a seven layer burrito. Yeah. And you're waiting on that tall Baja blast. You're going to be sitting there for a little bit. Yeah. So if you're intoxicated, yeah, you fall asleep, catch a little and, nap. And this guy did. Yeah. And then he got arrested. Yeah. yeah. Because he woke up enough to move his car to a parking spot. Yeah. Then the police show up. Yeah. Sure enough. That's why you always use cash when you shop drunk at Taco Bell. No, no debit cards. So they don't have your information. Ethan would know. Um, okay. Now this is an actual true story. What happened here? All right. This uh, 31-year-old woman yep. allegedly knocked over a barbecue grill belonging to a neighbor in her trailer park yep. and tossed pork chops on the lawn. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. This woman then tried to fight people in the trailer park, of course, asking one man, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? Yeah. Before threatening to cut him with a beer bottle, yeah. lifting her shirt to unveil her breasts. Yeah. Deputies uh, arrived. They arrested her on disorderly conduct. <laughs> and, of course, she was intoxicated. Was this in Florida? Uh-huh. Yeah, it always happens in Florida, doesn't it? Yeah, they're they're just off there. God, I love those Florida trailer parks. Love yeah. them. Yeah, a true story, as far as we know, as far as you know too. Yeah.